Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputies want to know what caused a driver to lose control and crash into a canal, killing three people. It happened near Southern Boulevard and Congress Avenue. RJ Jarvis has new information on the victims. This is just an incredibly tragic story. The driver of that vehicle somehow lost control and ended up over here in the C-51 canal. All three of those victims under the age of 25. Loved ones of 24-year-old Luis Flores placed a memorial and sat quietly along the C-51 canal, mourning and remembering him and his friends, 21-year-old Cindy Castro and 20-year-old Vanessa Saenz. Flores was driving this 2018 Jeep Wrangler early Sunday morning when it crashed into the canal. Palm Beach County deputies pulled the mangled remains out this morning. They say Flores of Lake Worth Beach was behind the wheels Sunday, driving eastbound on Southern Boulevard and approaching the intersection section off ramp for Congress Avenue. Castro, also of Lake Worth Beach and Saenz of Coconut Creek, were also in the car. Then they say Flores somehow lost control, failing to make the curve on the off ramp and instead barreling straight off the shoulder of the road. The car then bounced over the southern shoulder of Southern Boulevard, again over the Congress Avenue on ramp, and then struck the embankment of the C-51 canal before it finally crashed and sank into the canal. Deputies say the crash was so violent, it ripped the Jeep's roof off, tossing Flores, Castro, and Saenz out and into the canal. Deputies recovered Castro's body from the canal yesterday. They recovered Flores and Sayin's earlier this morning. Right now, we have a link to a GoFundMe for Castro's funeral expenses on WPBF.com. In West Palm Beach, Jay Jarvis, WPBF 25 News.